Hello everyone, welcome back. Hope you are doing well. According to the plan, till now we have covered total three chapters along with the previous year questions. Even we cover topic random module and exception handling along with the questions. And today is 17th March. This day we assign to the topic text file. We will revise this topic. Even we will try to solve the important questions and the previous year questions based on it. So without further delay, let's get started. To know text file, we should know what is file. File stores data permanently. Text files store the data in the same form as we type. It will generally stored in the form of Unicode characters. Each line in the file will get end with the backslash n. It is called as end of line character. And the extension of the text file will be .txt. The content of the text file will be in the human readable form. We can open text file in the text editor like notepad. To work with text file, we should have an idea about the different operations that we can perform on the text file. The first operation is opening the file. For that, we will be using open function. Here is the syntax. The first parameter of the open function is file name. We need to mention the name of the file. And the second parameter is mode. Generally, we use three modes, read mode, write mode and append mode. Let's discuss the different types of mode which we can use with the open function. First is R mode. This is default mode. If you don't mention any mode, the file will open in the read mode. The second mode is write mode. And the third mode is the append mode. If already there is a data in the file and you need to append some more data, that time you will be using append mode. There are some additional modes to R plus, W plus and A plus. In case of R plus mode, the file will get opened in the read mode and it will allow write operation too. Whereas in case of W plus mode, the file will get open in the write mode but it allows read operation too. And at last, in case of A plus mode, file gets open in the read mode and it allows write operation also. Generally, we will be using R mode, W mode and A mode. Moving ahead to the second operation that is closing the file. Here is the syntax file object dot close. This file object we created with the open function. With this file object actually we create the link of the file object and the file on the disk that we need to break with the close function. Now the third operation is writing to a file. To write data to the file there are two functions. First is write. Here is the syntax of the write function. We use file handle or we can call it as a file object. It takes parameter in the form of string. It writes string to the file. The second function is write lines. Write lines take the list of the string. Let's try to understand how to write the data to the text file using write function. This will be always the first step where we are using open function to open the file. Here we are opening the file in the read mode because we are creating the file, we are writing data to the file. Write function takes the parameter in the form of string. So we initialize one string variable and that we are writing with the write function. Finally, we need to close the connection. One text file got created with the name file1 and this name got written into the file. It is not practical to write the string one by one. Then you can use for loop. This for loop will get executed for five times we are taking the input and that we are writing to the file. If we input some random file names, look at the content of the file. But this is not in the proper format. If you want the names in the separate line, for that we need to write the new line also. That we will be doing with backslash n. Because in case of text file, as we type, it will get stored. If you want some formatting, we need to write that too. Because in case of text file, as we type, data gets stored. Now let's apply write lines function to write data to the file. Write lines function takes the data in the form of list. So you can directly write the list here. As you type, it will get stored in the file. If you don't want to write list directly in the function, take it in a variable and that you can specify in the write lines function. Using for loop, you can take list elements one by one. For that we have created one empty list and using append function we will be adding names to that list. 
to write names in new line we have concatenated backslash n to each element of the list look at the output we studied how to open the file how to close the file and how to write data to the file now we have to read the content of the text file for that we have three function the first is read the second one is read line and the third one is read lines let's try to understand all these three functions in detail the first is read function with read function we can specify how many bytes we need to read bytes means it is nothing but a character how many characters we need to read if we don't mention entire file will get read when we read the data we will be getting it in the form of string here is the syntax all the file functions we will be using with the file object because it is a representative for the file here n is the number of bytes or number of characters if we don't mention whole file will get read that's why it is optional we are trying to read the file one with this content now i want to read only 3 bytes means only 3 characters so i mention fp dot read in bracket the number of characters or number of bytes are 3 we get the result in the form of string that we are printing on the screen we will not forget to close the file look at the output of this code we could read only 3 characters from the file before studying file we were writing program and directly printing the result on the monitor but now in between we have file we will take the input from the keyword stored into the file then read the content from the file and display on the monitor here is the second variation of the read function that is without specifying the number of bytes when we don't specify anything whole content of the file will get read we have only one name in this file so we are getting that details now we are clear with the read function let's move ahead to the second function that is read line it will read the whole line of input this function also returns the data in the form of string here is the syntax file object dot read line in this code we are trying to read the file file3.txt we could see we have mentioned the complete path of the file if file is not in the same directory as the program then you will be specifying the path like this here is the usage of the read line function it will give the data in the form of string that we are printing look at the output we are getting one line of output here we have used read line function once it will read only one line There is one more point we should note down of read line function is it will read the string but it will end with the backslash n you will get a clear understanding what that means here we use one read line function which reads the first line of the file look at the output here we are getting one blank line because each line will get end with backslash n in case of read line function and the next line is getting printed because of this read line function to avoid this you can use the end parameter of the print function with that we can suppress the printing of blank line we have no idea how many lines are written in the text file and we need to read the complete file for that you can use loop like this open the file then take one empty variable and while str we will be reading the line After reading the line we are printing it using end parameter you know the usage of end parameter now finally we will close the connection here is the another method when we will open the file we got the content we are iterating over it and printing it using end parameter that was all about read line function now the third function is read lines function it reads the data from the file in the form of list here is the syntax file object dot read lines look at the simple code we are opening the file 3 in the read mode and along with the file object we are using read lines function we got the data in the form of list that we are printing look at the output now the first line is the first element of the list followed by backslash n and the second line is the second element of the list in the same way all the data of the file will get read now the last important function is appending to the file what does it mean already file exists now you want to add some more data to the existing file 
For that we use append mode. Already existing file we cannot open in the write mode because the data will get erased. Look at this code. With this code we created names.txt file with some names into it. Now we want to append data to this file. For that we will open the same file in the append mode. And using for loop we are adding data to it. The rest of the program will be same. Only the difference is that we will open the file in the append mode. Now it's time to solve some previous year questions based on text file. If we look at the weightage for the text file you will be getting one 3 mark question. It may be with choice or without choice. So these type of questions you will be getting in the question paper in which we need to count or print. In case of counting you may get a question where you need to count the vowels. Even you need to count the words like and or you may be getting questions in which you need to count the lines which are starting with T or ending with digits or the length of the words will be greater than 3. In this category of counting you may get the question in which you need to count the lines. Look at the second pattern of the questions. Here you need to print not count. So you will be printing the line with the specific word or specific character like the line starting with the word you. The second question in which you need to print the line which are not starting with vowels. And in the second pattern you need to print the lines with at least 10 words. Here is the sample question paper for the session 23-24 issued by CBC. There is one question based on text file with the choice. Let's solve this question first. There is a text file. The name of the text file is poem.txt. We need to write one user defined function vowel count. What this function will be doing? It will count the number of vowels in the text file and that we have to print. Look at the code. According to the instruction function is ready. The first step is to open the file. The name of the file is poem.txt that we are opening in the read mode. Now we have to read the content of the file. For that we are using read function. If we don't mention number of bytes here, whole file will get read. Read and read line functions return data in the form of string. Using for loop we are iterating over that string. Now we have to count the vowels. For that we need to write the condition. If x in a e i o u. Here we mention lowercase as well as uppercase vowels. Using this variable count we are counting the number of vowels. If we get vowel it will get incremented by 1. Finally we are printing the number of vowels. In case of file handling always the last step will be closing the connection using close function. To cross check the output of this code we have taken some random data in the poem.txt file. Look at the output. The number of vowels are 19. This question is important. It has been asked in many question papers. Now look at the question in the choice. Here is a text file alpha.txt. We need to write a function which will display those lines which begins with the word u. Here we need to display the lines not to count. Alright, try to understand this code. As function name is not mentioned, we can write anything. Let's open the given file in the R mode. This is our first step. Here we use read lines functions with the help of which we are reading all the lines. You will be getting this type of output. You know read lines functions gives the result in the form of list. The next task will be iterating over the elements of the list. Here is the first element of the list. We will be iterating over it one by one. According to the question, we need to print those lines which are starting with the word u. Now we need to split it to check the first word is u or not. For that we are using split function. After applying split function, the output will look like this. The words got separated and we are interested only the word u. That we will be checking with the if condition if list of 0 is equals to u. And the word u is at the index 0 of the list. If the condition satisfies, we need to print that whole line which we are getting in the variable line. Don't forget to close the file. We have taken some random data and here is the output. We are getting only those lines which is getting started with the word u. We solved two questions from the sample question paper. There is one more additional practice question paper issued by CBSE. You know that. Now let's solve the questions from it. 
Here is the question based on text file. There is a file gratitude.txt. We need to write function name count, which will count the letter E in each line. Look at the output. If we consider this data in the data file, we are getting the output like this. In line 1, we have 3 E's, in line 2, 4, in line 3, 6, and in line number 4, there is only 1 E. Let's check out for the save. The name of the function is count. We are opening gratitude.txt in the R mode. This is the first step. Using read lines functions, we are reading the content of the file. We know that in lines variable, we will get one list. Using for loop, we will be iterating over the list. In the list, we know the data is in the format of string. So there is one count function which counts the occurrence of the specified letter. According to the question, we need to print the output in this format. For that, we have done this arrangement. We are printing the word line. We have used one variable num to print line numbers, which is initialized to 1 in the beginning, which will get incremented one by one, followed by colon. Each character of the list we are getting in variable i. On that, we are applying count function. With that, we will get the count of the letter e. Finally, we are closing the connection. Hope you understood this code. If you have any other option, you can go ahead with it. In the additional question paper, there is a option. We need to consider the same gratitude.txt file and we will be writing one function start with i. What this function will do? It will display lines which are starting with the letter i. Look at the output. Here is the content of the file. It is clear that we are printing the lines which are getting started with the letter i. Now let's try to understand the code. According to the instructions, the function is created. The first step is to open the file in the read mode. Using read lines functions, we are reading the content of the file. Now iterate over the elements of the list. We got the file content in the list. Let's take this line for example. The first word will be in. It is the element of the list at 0th index. We are interested in only first alphabet of the element. That we will be getting using 0th index. If it is equals to i, we will be printing that whole line which we are getting in the variable i. Close the connection and call the function. From the output, it is clear that we are getting only those lines which are getting started with the letter i. Hope you understood this code too. Along with that 3 mark question in which you need to write the code. You may get questions in the section A for 1 mark. Let's read one question which is in the form of assertion and reasoning. If the text file is already contain some text and open in write mode, then the previous content are overwritten. This statement is true. We cannot open already existed file in the write mode. For that we use append mode. Now let's look at the reasoning. When file is open in the write mode, the file pointer is present at the beginning position of the file. Yes, this is also true. When we open the file in the write mode, always the file pointer will be at the beginning of the file. Even in case of read mode, the file pointer will be at the beginning of the file. Only in case of append mode, the file pointer will be at the end of the file. So we can conclude that both the statements are true and the reasoning is the correct explanation for assertion. There is one more question based on text file. Which of the following function returns a list data type? Out of this only read lines functions returns the data of the text file in the form of list. So D is the correct choice. If you want to solve some more questions based on text file, there is a dedicated video in which we have covered total 10 questions. If you wish to, you can go through this video. Now you can confidently solve the questions based on text file. That was all about text file. I hope you understood all the concept. In case of any doubt, let me know in the comments. If you found this video helpful, do share with your friends. Tomorrow we will completely revise CSV files as well as we will solve questions based on it. So until next time keep studying, stay healthy, I will see you in the next video.